Many of you have asked about the progress of drone pan for the Phantom 3 and I wanted to just share a quick update as well as walk you through what needs to happen for you to be able to beta test this. Right now everything is ready to go. We've done some internal testing but unfortunately we're waiting on DJI to approve the next version of drone pan and the reason being is that we now yaw the aircraft versus before we were just supporting the Inspire 1 and yawing the gimbal. So if you're watching this and want to become a Phantom 3 beta tester, let me just share a few things that you're going to need to do. So first off, you want to make sure that you have the latest version of the firmware. The thing you want to do is make sure that your flight mode switch is enabled. By default, you'll probably be in P mode and sometimes to enable that, you'll have to go into the DJI GO app and toggle that switch. Now you can see my modes are changing, but initially DJI will ask you if you want to enable that switch. So make sure that you do that before you get into drone pan. That that's done, we'll go ahead and load up drone pan. It'll ask us what aircraft we're using. We also now support yawing with the Inspire 1, which will give us more sky because that gimbal will pitch up. So you have the option to switch between gimbal or aircraft yaw mode. We'll go ahead and select our Phantom 3. Okay, so let me just demonstrate this. I'm going to start the panorama, and what you'll notice is it says there's an error and that we need to place our switch in the F position. So what you'll do is you'll fly to altitude, toggle that into the F position, and you can begin your panorama. Now there is a setting in here we don't allow panoramas to be taken below five meters. So when your panorama is complete in the air, what you'll do is you'll toggle back from F into P mode, and then you'll have control of your sticks again, and you can bring your phantom down, or you can fly to another location and take another panorama. So now let me just take this out in the backyard real quick and demonstrate how this will work in the air. And so what I'll do now is I'm going to toggle my switch from P mode into F mode. It's a little bit windy out here. Okay. And then in drone pan, let's get a little bit higher altitude. And then drone pan, I'm going to hit the play button to begin the yaw. Then once it finishes its first loop, it'll pitch the camera down and then it'll begin its second loop. And now when we're done, we'll just switch back to P mode. And then I can take over again and bring it down. So that was the Phantom 3 in action. Let me just fire up drone pan again and show you the difference with the Inspire 1. So you can see that we have the video feed. If we try to run it now, it's actually going to ask us if we want to yaw the aircraft or yaw the gimbal. So gimbal mode is generally more stable. You're going to get less of the sky because the gimbal will capture some of the Inspire 1 frame. But if you do yaw aircraft, you'll get the gimbal to pitch up 30 degrees and you'll do one extra row of photos to capture more of the sky. And I wanna share a quick panorama that a friend did last night with the aircraft yaw mode in the Inspire 1. This is of a bridge in downtown Dallas. We're looking forward to getting this in your hands so you guys can beta test, but once again, we're waiting on DJI. Once we get through that, we're definitely going to have some cool features planned as it relates to doing more high-end panoramas like HDR panoramas and being able to do bracketing within the app. I truly appreciate all of you that have been following along and giving feedback. Definitely working on creating one of the best panorama apps out there and making it freely available. Hope this video was useful and until next time, thanks for watching.